Shall we play a game? In oh. War Games, a movie made 30 years ago, a young computer hacker from Seattle comes close to starting a nuclear war. But these days, America's looking to hire tech-savvy teenagers to work for the US military rather than against it. And some of these young cadets at West Point are potential players. A battle I'm fighting is to educate within the army that, that hackers and what they bring can be a great strength. So at one of the country's oldest and most orthodox educational institutions, future officers are learning to think in very unorthodox ways. The approach we're taking here is more focused on education, long-term underlying principles that will teach them how to think and how to solve problems. Cyber attacks on U.S. infrastructure soared 1,700 percent between 2009 and 2011. And in the midst of that blitz, the Pentagon established a special group to defend America online. General Keith Alexander, then head of the NSA, was placed in charge of this new Cyber Command, initially poaching personnel from other service branches instead of developing its own raw recruits. But that's about to change. This year, for the first time ever, West Point seniors will be allowed to join Cyber Command as newly graduated officers. I want to see what I can do for the Army as far as applying my expertise. The West Point Hacking Club, which competes at national contests against schools like MIT, means these cadets can compete with the brightest computer scientists of their generation. I would say I'm more tech savvy than the average person my age. Like much else that's taught in a West Point classroom, these skills may one day be applied on an active battlefield. I see a future where there'll be cyberspace only operations and as well as physical world and cyberspace operations that intersect at various points in time. America's next generation of army officers will still fight wars with machine guns but some will also use mouse clicks. <laughs>